Hello everyone and welcome to Computer Tech TV. I am Rick Arder. Today's video I'd like to show you guys how to uh, take Memtest 86 which is a memory diagnostic program. It's basically for testing for errors on your physical memory. And this is not only for overclocking. A lot of people think that you only use Memtest for uh, when you're overclocking and pushing your RAM to the limit. But however, it is recommended that you run Memtest at least 10 to 20 passes on a new set of RAM when you purchase it because there is times when just like any other piece of hardware it could be DOA and you don't want to corrupt your operating system or mess up anything else so it's always a good thing to do because it actually operates outside of the Windows operating system environment so basically what you guys need to do to start off with is go to the site it's memtest.org and I'll put the link below this video so you guys can go you'll have to scroll down the page a little bit there's a few different versions available if you guys want to do the classic you know burn it to a disk or put it on a floppy if you have an older computer then that's fine but this video is focused more on putting it onto a USB drive and it doesn't have to be a very big one because this is a file that I believe is a couple megabytes maybe I'm using a 256 megabyte flash drive currently so all you need for this is the software which is free I'll put the link below and then a compatible flash drive and here's what we're going to do I've already downloaded the program it's here right in the middle so we want to double click on it once you've installed it and it'll come up in your I'm using WinRAR you want to click on that you want to agree to the license and then you want to choose your drive see now I need to install mine there we go and then it will recognize it and then you can just close that out. So mine's E and it's not going to show up on here because I installed it after the fact. So you just go back in. There's E. And then recommended. Check this box if you want to format the drive. Of course I want to. I've already installed this on here but I'll do it again. And that basically gives you a warning that if you have any data on here you want to take it off because it's going to format it and create the files it needs to. So just hit create. It'll go through its formatting process and installation and I'll click on next finished and you should be good to go now what we need to do is shut the computer down and we'll go into BIOS and I'll show you where to go from there you'll need to go to the screen that will give you the option to change the boot device priority for your motherboard now here if we want to go down we have it set to boot our hard drive first what we want to do is we want to change that to USB zip drive and that should set us up right and now what we'll need to do is exit here save and exit restart and it should boot off of there for us and we'll be able to run the program we might have to hit enter and there you go so now we are running memtest 86 and this is running outside of the windows environment so basically what this is for not only to test the memory when you first get it to ensure that it will run at default but if you're overclocking you basically run this and I recommend um, at least 10 passes I believe that's what it's always been it's been quite a while since I've run memtest or overclocked memory but I believe it's 10 passes, however, the more the better. Uh, I would suggest if you're going for a 24-7 overclock and you're at your peak point, I'd say at least 20 passes just to ensure that there's stability. And then after this, what you want to do is once you pass this, you're good to go into Windows. And when you go into Windows, you want to run Prime95 Blend or Linux with full memory set, high priority. You want to run that for the amount of time uh, that you want to run those benchmarks and then I basically would say after running your programs or games that you normally run if there's no errors no restarts no blue screens and I'd say you're pretty much stable so uh, basically if you look around on the screen there's a lot of things listed most of the stuff over here is towards your CPU and your memory 
tells you how much of each cache, how much memory, and then it tells you the, uh, I guess, transfer speeds of all of those. And then it gives you some more information about your memory down here. All right, so that concludes this video on how to install and use Memtest 86 version 4.20, which is the latest version as of the making of this video. Uh, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys all have a great day, and comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and more videos to come.